And now here at 530, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine announcing his priorities for the future in his annual State of the State address. The governor's major goal is to have Ohioans thrive so they will remain right here in the Buckeye State. The budget that I will present to you today reflects the moral imperative we have to see that all Ohioans are fully educated. And therefore, every Ohioan will have the tools to live up to their full God-given potential. Our State House reporter Morgan Trow has more on what the governor is proposing and how lawmakers on each side are reacting. The governor's state of the state outlined his major priorities, including child care, education, and workforce development. And all of that is a lot of spending. We meet at a time of great opportunity for Ohio, yet it is also a time of great challenges. Some of those challenges, infant mortality rates, low literacy statistics, and declining population. In his State of the State address, Governor Mike DeWine believes his budget will fix these problems. Our budget asks you to repeal the state's sales tax on critical infant supplies such as diapers, wipes, cribs, car seats, strollers, and safety equipment. DeWine is also proposing a $2,500 per child state tax deduction. Senate President Matt Huffman is on board. We really need to encourage people to have children and change the policies um, that are preventing people. And keeping his focus on families, the governor says he will be implementing the fair school funding plan, receiving a standing ovation from the Democrats. He then announced an expansion to the Ed Choice program, and Republicans applauded. And we for sure cannot afford to prop up with taxpayer dollars any voucher system that lacks transparency. Other than the voucher system, Democrats received many of the requests they've been asking for for years. Mental health service funding, affordable housing tax credits, and more training for law enforcement on use of force. But House Minority Leader Allison Russo says the governor should be going further, especially with safety. We want to have safe school buildings, but without addressing the issue of gun violence in our communities, that is a tremendous oversight, I think, on the part of the governor. The Democrat says that, in addition to the focus on culture war issues and abortion fights, are causing people to leave Ohio. Acknowledging that people are moving away, DeWine is putting forward a $2.5 billion investment for new economic development sites to create jobs. Everyone has to understand that at some point, when we don't have the residue of $6 trillion being released from the federal government, that the money will have to come from somebody. Fellow Ohioans, there is no question Ohio is truly on the move. Now it's up to state lawmakers to make this budget happen. At the Ohio State House, I'm Morgan Trow reporting.